and people watched in amazement as contestants on The Biggest Loser shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. But the transformation of Pete Thomas was nothing short of miraculous. Take a look at what Pete went through on the show. It felt horrible. The biggest, absolute biggest person in the group. Pick it up, Pete. Eight. Faster. Nine. The biggest Loser really saved my life. Come back. I'm still a big guy and uh, still got some more weight to lose, but I just feel awesome. And he looks awesome, and now 185 pounds lighter and 100 grand richer. Please welcome Pete Thomas. And I feel amazing. Thank you. I feel yeah, they are. I don't they know. Know. <laughs> and his wife's yelling loudest of all. Yes, yeah, my queen. Oh. Look at yeah. Pam. Pam, make that right leg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I mean, yes, you were voted off. Of yes, ma'am. So you couldn't win the grand prize. <laughs> yeah. But you actually lost more pounds than anybody else. Yes, ma'am. I, I want to know because you lost 83 pounds at the ranch. Yes, ma'am. And then once you got home, you lost 102. That's see. not easy to do once right. you leave You're there, right. I'm sure. Right. So I want to know exactly. How did you do it on your own? What did you What did you eat every day? Yes, did you work out? How Absolutely. did How did you think about food differently? The main The main thing that we did when I got home was modify what I used to do. For mm -hmm. instance, for breakfast, I'd have a couple of eggs and say four sausages. Go an egg is 70 calories each, and sausage are 110 each. So I'd modify that, and so I'd eat egg beaters instead of eggs. So two mm -hmm. eggs, two egg beaters are 70 calories, and then I'd have Canadian bacon instead. So I could have six or eight pieces of Canadian bacon for what used to be the same caloric content of just a couple of sausages. So is by making those modifications. Mm -hmm. for since dinner, I would go out and before I would go out and maybe go have fast food, seven or eight hundred calories for a you know a, ha a meal or whatever you mm -hmm. know between a whopper and a, a fry exactly. and all of that. Right. Well, then when I got off the ranch and what we learned from Jillian was to make modifications. I ate lean ground beef instead at home, and you could have eight ounces of lean ground beef for three hundred calories. Mm -hmm. right. So that was the big thing. So to, it wasn't to about take. starving yourself no, or anything oh, like that. No, so I'm too big to snacks. starve. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the I'm lean still. ground beef still tasted like a Big Mac, right? Well, well you know you got to still make other modifications. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, but instead of Regular ketchup, you take carb control okay. ketchup, which are fewer calories mm -hmm. each. Uh, we'd use uh, a, a low fat um, dressing on our salad dressings and things like that. So it's about those modifications. You revamped everything. everything. So you have to yeah. doctor it up a little bit to make well, it taste course. like you want well, it to well, taste. Something, but again, when you do the doctoring, you don't doctor the old way. You gotcha. wouldn't take exactly. regular ranch, you right. take a low fat dressing or something okay. like that. So Jillian taught us all of that stuff about, on the show. What, what about awesome. working out? Like, what do you do for a workout? You well, get up and work out right away? Do you eat breakfast yeah. first? Well, it, that that's an individual thing. Me personally, I like to get up and go ahead and get the workout, and, and I do, do what you do. I do. I run. We got back home from the ranch, yes. and we started running. That's you awesome. know, I took a running class, and we, me and my wife, we just completed our first half marathon in October. Oh, congratulations! So, yes. 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 Yeah. So, cool. so we knocked that out. And then I do a variety of different things. From the show, we were in one room for so long a period of time doing workouts that I hate boredom. Mm -hmm. So I did different things. I joined a boot camp class where they do three times a week. They do, you know, a series of push-ups, pull-ups, and all of that kind yeah. of thing. And then I would, uh, again, my running was my foundation. I would take, you know, cardio, kickboxing, spin classes, whatever I could to keep from being bored. Right. You know, but we always got our workouts in first thing in the morning and then typically in the evening. Well, because well. you lost the greatest percentage of body fat, yes, you won the $100,000. Yes. What are you going to do with the money? Oh. <laughs> well, first thing we're going to do earned. is absolutely. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give to charity. We're going to get tied wow. to our local church, and then we're going to we're real estate investors, right. so we're going to invest the rest. Oh, we want to have children. You yes. guys were talking about children. Uh, yeah. We want to have children, so we want to secure our child's future before yeah. he even gets here. So that's, that's the next exactly. one. Absolutely. Did you guys? I mean, do you? Do you have those urges though to like go back and snack on things? Well see it's not about you know completely giving up foods that we used to like it's about modifying them for instance you know first week I got off the ranch I went to the Cheesecake Factory now you can't go to Cheesecake Factory and <laughs> not have the name <laughs> right. of the place. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly so what I did was I had the bril grilled halibut I had steamed spinach and then we had the cheesecake I split cheesecake with my wife didn't have the nuts and the uh, and the whipped topping on the top yeah. but, but you, still, you know you, you still had what you want but want. you know what Pete I'm, yes, I'm, you, I'm so sorry and I'm married and your wife is here. Yeah. You are so fine. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. And I have to say, I am so sorry about the thoughts, Lord. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is going on? My wife's shirt is back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's Come on. The Lord will give me time for you. I'm telling you. It didn't take seven more weeks. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Watch out, Pam's right here. Yes, ma'am. I want to ask 
<laughs> you, it's, when you lose a lot of weight, yeah. typically you have a lot of that hanging loose skin, loose skin. Yeah. You don't have yeah, any of that. Look at your arms. Look solid. at this. It's pretty tight right there. Uh -huh. yeah, he doesn't there. have any yeah. of the... Damn, girl. Well, it, it, came, it came from Jillian Michaels' method of training us on the ranch. I mean, she combined the weight training and the cardio. You know, even when we had a strict weight training hour, she would combine the weights with right. cardio so that, you know, and then there's some genetics involved in it, obviously. But just because we didn't just get on a treadmill and do that all day, we combined the weights with it that everything just shrank up and, yeah. you know, the muscles came out and of places I didn't know that they, you know, <laughs> you know. I've still got some loose skin in areas, but, you know, got some abs and then my wife calls it a four pack. She <laughs> Right. It's not a full six pack, Aww. but you know. I know. You got some of that going all on. kind of little abs and folk getting a sex drive. Just all kind of That yeah. is great. You know what? We're so happy for both Thank of you guys. You, you are an unbelievable team, so Thank we just want to wish you Thank continued you. health. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our thanks to Pete Thomas. We will be right back.